Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and uh, today is Theory Thursday. So I'm going to be showing you guys um, a little bit about the theory of stringing the cross stick um, so that you can string some for yourselves. So I've gotten uh, the most requests to do a theory video on how to tighten and loosen a channel. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen some of my other videos, uh, the channel refers to the area that the ball is going to come out. You want a tight channel, so that means that these sides right here are tight and it's loose in the middle, so the ball is going to come out. Uh, straight down the middle every time. So a tight channel means that these sides are very very tight and the channel is more narrow um, so the ball will come out and it will provide a little more hold. Um, a wider channel just means it will have a little less hold and a little less consistent but still good. Um, I recommend a channel that's just about the ball's width um, so that it doesn't get caught and it doesn't slow down your release or your shot speed at all. Um, so you can see this exemplifies that ball's width channel um, it's just about as wide as the ball, so it's not going to get caught. Uh, so now I'm going to explain a little bit about how to tighten or uh, loosen a channel depending on how the head's throwing. Um, like I've talked about before, to create a channel, you want to stretch and pull and interlock these first few three or four holes of mesh down very tightly. And that's going to create this flat area here, and then double up after that's going to create uh, the pocket and that is what's going to create a channel. So if you want a tighter channel what you need to do is interlock four diamonds down the side very tightly. So you can see one, two, three, and four are all pulled just about as tight as they can go. Uh, this fourth one could even be pulled a little bit tighter if you wanted a tight channel, um, a, a much tighter channel, but I left it a little looser to give me that balls width channel. Now if you wanted an even tighter channel than that, you could take this fifth diamond and pull that down and interlock that as well. So a very, very tight channel will have five diamonds interlocked as tight as possible. Uh, what I recommend is three or four. So if you're going to do a high, mid-high pocket, I recommend three. Um, a mid-pocket or mid-low, I recommend four. And the way you can feel how much channel you want is um, so you... Uh, String your stick and play with it and play some wall ball. And if you can feel that ball getting stuck right in here and releasing a little late, or you can really feel the slow release, you want to make the channel just a little bit looser so you get a quick release and it's not going to slow your shot speed down. Um, and there's nothing to be said about having, you know, nothing negative to be said about having a loose channel. Uh, there's a lot of players that don't play with a really tight channel that so they can get a really smooth, really nice release um, and they can still play very well. So a tight channel is not completely necessary. Uh, but again, just to reiterate, if you want a very tight channel, you're going to pull five diamonds of mesh from the top down as tightly as possible. Um, just a kind of tight channel, regular uh, balls with channel, you pull four down as tight as possible. And then afterwards, you want to double the mesh up uh, to bunch it. So that's the basics of how to tighten or loosen your channel. Um, it just has to do with the number of diamonds you've pulled down and how tightly uh, you've pulled them down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, throw down in the comments some more ideas for Theory Thursday that you have. Uh, let me know any videos you want to see. Subscribe to my channel for more stream videos and tutorials. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.